Hi, I'm uh, I'm Rick Davidson, and I'm Bill Thompson. And uh, on this nice uh, February morning, we decided to uh, drive down to Gilmington, uh, actually the pretty town of Gilmington, uh, to come to the Smith uh, Cemetery. And who are we visiting today? Oh, we are here to visit Grace Metallius. Hopefully, I pronounced the lady's name correctly. She was the author of the infamous or famous Peyton Place novel. And uh, so we're standing really in the town of Peyton Place, uh, if you want to look at it that way. And uh, we've, it's not the first time we've been here. Um, I Bill, would say we've been here almost a, a year to this day, somewhere yeah. in this thing. There was snow on the ground the last time we were here. It was a wicked cold day because the wind was blowing. But uh, we've been working on a book. Uh, which I think is going to be called Buried uh, New Hampshire. Uh, we have been doing this for over a year, really, and uh, basically we visited a lot of graves, told a lot of stories about the people behind those graves, and Grace is one of them. Yeah, definitely. So if you bear with us, we'll take you down the path, and uh, we'll show you a couple of other spots in the cemetery, and then we'll take you right down to Grace's uh, tombstone. And uh, just, you know, just so this is our first attempt at a video uh, for YouTube. Uh, and we're looking at, uh, so give, forgive us if it's not 100% perfect. Uh, but we, we'll do our best to try to share a little bit of what we learned uh, when we were uh, researching for the book and coming to the various graves uh, yards all around the state <coughs> to, take the, uh, to take pictures uh, for the book. So, um, in a moment, we'll go see Grace. Yeah, I think uh, it's appropriate to say in all of these videos, please, give us a thumbs up. We need it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. Walking into the cemetery, you will pass the Badger family plot. The Badger family was very prominent in Gilmington as well as in New Hampshire. William Badger Sr. was the 15th governor of New Hampshire, serving from 1834 to 1836. He was far ahead of his time as an early supporter of eliminating capital punishment. He also advocated vaccination for smallpox. Colonel William Badger is the son of the governor, is also buried here. Colonel, <coughs> Colonel Badger entered military service at the outset of the Civil War. He originally enlisted in the 4th New Hampshire Infantry as a captain. At the end of the Civil War, he joined the regular army as a lieutenant in the 6th U.S. Infantry. He rose in the ranks to become a colonel and the regiment's quartermaster. While stationed at Fort Lincoln in South Dakota, he was a friend of Colonel Custer of the famed 7th Cavalry. It is said that he witnessed the 7th Depart Fort Lincoln for the Little Bighorn. Grace's grave is a little ways into the cemetery. You can see the path uh, or the roadway that we just walked down. Uh, we got a little further to go. It's going to be behind me now, just down over a hill, and uh, we'll show you that in just a second. Uh, we're going to head down over this hill. And Grace's uh, grave is uh, right down towards the bottom of the hill. So here she is, uh, t sort of down over the hill, as we mentioned before, uh, towards the back end of the cemetery uh, here in Gilmington. Um, she was famous actually for depicting, as one person said, at the dirty laundry of a small town. Uh, this town is like many other towns in New Hampshire. But one thing that's interesting is that the novel is about women, was published by women, and it also is basically kind of looking at the hypocrisy and the differences between people who live in poverty or have are wealthy. And yes, she did get into sex. And one of the things uh, I think that she can take credit for was um, was was having women realize that uh, sex was something that they should uh, enjoy as well. Uh, and as one would imagine, though, 
uh, the dirty laundry of a small town did not make her popular here. And success apparently did not really make her happy. Uh, she did have a great fondness for alcohol and um, basically I guess she really had a hard time uh, managing her money that she did get from uh, having one of the best sellers of all time. You can see on the top of her grave uh, that she did have, she does have her fans. Um, this is something you see quite often, uh, especially authors, artists, and people who um, people who appreciate a work that they've done, uh, the rocks and the coins on the top of the grave is something Bill and I have seen on a number of other graves, um, and it it usually is is a mark of some sort of uh, respect. Uh, at one point, um, John Waters, the film director, did leave a. Uh, a bottle here of Seagram 7. Um, we should have checked that out ahead of time. Um, but Bill and I have brought a, a little bit of uh, whiskey to, uh, to, to, to give to, to Grace. Um, just, um, again, I, I read the novel not too long ago, and I have to say it was a lot better than I thought. And one of the things that stood out for me was the was the description of a t small town uh, town meeting, uh, which I thought she nailed. But anyway, uh, Bill and I are going to uh, to to give a gift to her. We should have perhaps brought Seagram 7. Uh, I brought uh, a bottle of Old Forester. I suspect she would have drunk it. Uh, and we don't really want to leave full bottles here, so we thought we would... I know some of you are going to cringe at this, but it's fairly early in the morning, and neither Bill and I are ready to drink yet. So we will leave the bottles. There you go, Grace. I think you were a better writer than you're given credit for, and I think uh, you did you did women somewhat of a favor. And uh, it's not such a terrible thing to expose the dirty laundry sometimes. What do you think? I think that's absolutely right, Rick. <laughs> I think she was far better writer than people did give her credit for. Yeah. And it certainly was incredibly successful, given that there was a movie, yep. and then the famous TV series, too. Yep. So she had a lot of influence on there, Rick. She did. Uh, I don't know, did you bring it up? I know she, she really paid dearly. Her husband was the uh, local principal at the, the, the high school here, and apparently it's not absolutely proven, but apparently he lost his job because of the book was so scandalous to the townspeople. Yep. So you can kind of take that however you want, but uh, there were repercussions to the book locally. Incredible, really, to compare 1956 with today. Uh, this book wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, rise, wouldn't, raise, wouldn't, an wouldn't raise an eyebrow nowadays, but she did it her day. And uh, she did have a period of time uh, where she was number one. Absolutely. Uh, not something everybody can say. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Grace. Downtown Gilmington, it's much like many other towns in New Hampshire. Beautiful colonial homes. 